vendors, consultants and end users. We all know developing on ERP package is a time consuming and very complex process. It needs a lot of skilled manpower and other resources. In this lesson we will study vendors, consultants and end users. After going through this presentation you should be able to explain vendors describe consultants and end users and explain in-house implementation. Vendors are the people who have developed the ERP softwares. These people have invested huge amount of time and effort in research and development to create the software solution. The ERP vendors spend billions of rupees in research to come up with innovations that make the package more efficient, flexible and easy to implement and use. The vendor has to play various roles from designing till implementation of the project. The responsibilities of vendors are being changed in various situations. The vendor should supply the product and its documentation as soon as the contract is signed. Another role or key responsibility of a vendor is as a trainer to offer initial training for company's key users. The vendors also support the project functions and must exercise the quality control when product is implemented. If the implementation fails, most of the blame will fall on the vendors. On the other hand, providing the support means more satisfied the client, improved goodwill and good reference. Most of the ERP software vendors in the market are busy promoting their product. There are various criteria that should be considered before ERP vendor selection. To begin with, the company needs to study about the ERP vendor. The popularity of ERP software vendors does not necessarily mean that their service in terms of the needs and business of the company should comply. There are a large number of ERP vendors competing in the market. They should look for the vendor who offers some extra features as compared to others. The company should verify the ERP software through practical demonstrations. It is difficult to have an idea of the services unless they experience it. There are three levels of consulting for a comprehensive ERP project. Systems architecture. The overall data flow for the enterprise including the future data flow plan is designed by the systems architect. Technical consulting. Primarily programming and tool configuration activity. Generally, this involves extensive programming. Business Process Consulting Primarily Re-Engineering The business consultant learns the current business process of an organization. ERP consultants consolidate domain knowledge, communication skill and software expertise which justifies their high cost. The contemporary ERP software involves many intricacies that require years to master. The most exhaustive ERP product covering the widest range of functionalities is SAP. Business consultants are highly skilled professionals who specialize in developing techniques and methodologies for dealing with implementation and with various problems that will crop up during the implementation of the package. They are good administrators and control the whole process of implementation and post-implementation. The consultant firms inspect the various products, develop in-depth understanding of each product's strength and weaknesses, work by side of the ERP vendors. The consultants play various roles in implementation. The responsibilities of consultant towards the organization going for ERP implementation are the consultant should guarantee the success of the project and should be able to show the results to the satisfaction of the company management. The consultant should be responsible for administrating, monitoring and inspecting the activities of the implementation. Consultants should add the value to the project as they have seen many projects and made or seen mistakes. Consultant should also know how to remain impartial while questioning current process in an effort to promote better business practices and implementing results. Consultants are responsible for analyzing and clearly addressing customization issues. That is, it should be distinguished between must-have and nice-to-have. 
consultants need to position themselves in such a way as to balance their loyalty to the client and project. These are the people who will be using ERP system once it is in place. These are the people who were doing the functions that are being automated or computerized by ERP. With implementation, nature of job will change. It is human nature to resist change and implementation changes the whole business in a very massive scale. Employee will fear that system will replace existing jobs. The job profile get change. Job responsibilities undergoes drastic alterations. They are also forced to develop new skill sets. If the problems that end users face at the time of implementation or at post implementation phases are not addressed and alleviated well in advance, it will cause trouble for the organization. If the company makes the mind of its employees to accept this fact and assists in making the transformation, then the major obstacle in the path of an ERP package implementation is solved. As designing and implementing software package is not the business of most of the companies, the system that their in-house team develops are not having quality, scope, functionality or technology as compared to software created by software firms. Hence it is better for a company to concentrate on their business and leave the job of ERP implementation on software firms who are in that business. But to get maximum benefit out of package solution, the company should participate fully during a package implementation. The company should plan the participation of employees so every person could have an appropriate role in the implementation project. ERP implementation will face resistance from employee, that is, will be ignorance about the product, fear of an unemployment, fear of training, phobia of technology, etc. An ERP implementation involves many people, thus is necessary for vendors to adapt good communication and leadership skills. This is required for implementation with existing employees. As the team training and end user training are the important phases of implementation process, the excellent training should be provided by the vendor. As the end users are handling the whole systems, the success of an ERP implementation is in their hands. The training should be given perfectly before leaving the company by an ERP vendor. In post implementation phase itself, company trained the in-house people so that they can help company in implementation efforts on other units of company and in providing training to the other employees using the system. If a company wants to plan in-house implementation, it might hire experts and have them on the company's roles. This is expensive proposition as once the implementation is over, there is no need for keeping experts in the business. Now let us check if you have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. End users are the people who are doing the functions that are being automated or computerized by ERP. Right or wrong? Right. Vendors are the people who have developed the ERP software. Right or wrong? Right. The vendor doesn't play any role from designing till implementation of the project. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Vendors are the people who have developed the ERP software. These people have invested huge amount of time and effort in research and development to create the software solution. The ERP vendors spend billions of rupees in research to come up with innovations that make the package more efficient, flexible and easy to implement and use. The vendor has to play various roles from designing till implementation of the project. The responsibilities of vendors are being changed in various situations. The vendor should supply the product and its documentation as soon as the contract is signed. Business consultants are highly skilled professionals who specialize in developing techniques and methodologies for dealing with implementation and with various problems that will crop up during the implementation of the package. They are good administrators and control the whole process of implementation 
and post implementation. The consultant firms inspect the various products, develop in-depth understanding of each product strength and weakness worked by side of the ERP vendors. The consultants play various roles in implementation. The responsibilities of consultant towards the organization going for ERP implementation are the consultant should guarantee the success of the project and should be able to show the results to the satisfaction of the company management. These are the people who will be using ERP system once it is in place. These are the people who were doing the functions that are being automated or computerized by ERP. If the company makes the mind of its employees to accept this fact and assist in making the transformation, then the major obstacle in the path of an ERP package implementation is solved. As designing and implementing software package is not the business of most of the companies, the system that their in-house team develops are not having quality, scope, functionality or technology as compared to software created by software firms. As the team training and end-user training are the important phases of implementation process, the excellent training should be provided by the vendor.